So the idea today is find the toughest trails we can and pressure test these tires and those trail series RCV axles. Should be a good one. So the first trail we hit, green ribbon, and it is tough. This bottom section is like just a ton of boulders. You can see, you don't want to stop. It's not super steep right here, but you don't want to stop because you're just sling loose rocks. The next, the next section, this is the first tough section. Huge, huge rock slab. And this section that I'm at right now, there's like a big rock that just jets out of the middle. And you either have to go all the way to the left, or you do like I did and straddle it. You gotta have a little clearance to straddle it, but this slab right here, always a good tire tester because it's just a smooth rock. And you can see I've done good until I got right here to the top. Normally with some sticky tires, I never even slow down, but this time I had to work it over to the right before it finally got going. I didn't have to back up and hit it again, and I was purposefully going pretty slow just to see how the tires were gonna do. But Let's see, I'll show you how the rest of the guys done here. Right now I gotta let Jovi out. Misha, what you think? Got it's, it's got rough. It's got rough. But it's not as bad as it was. Well, this there's some rocks in the holes right here. It's about to break something too. It's uh it's pretty bad. I can imagine if it was wet, it'd be oh, awful. Right here. Yeah, rough. it'd be awful if it was wet.
the second part, this is the top part of Green Ribbon. Occasionally this gets pretty rough. You can see the line you choose on the top section really matters. But, I mean overall, from what I can remember, the top part has gotten easier. Like I think some of the, there might have been a tree or some rocks, some big rocks that got moved. But, made it up, no problems. Check out how everybody else done it. Next trail, I call it the Clark Trail because the Clark Brothers pretty much made it and showed it to me, but check out some of these rocks. The trail is really narrow, very technical. You kind of, you get close to some trees, real close. But it's got some big rocks, a couple little places like this. This is the hardest one, but it's usually not terrible. I, uh, didn't choose the right line to start with. But it's a good trail that's not like dug out so you don't have to worry about ruts. You just have to clear these rocks right, pick the right line. So this is a fun little trail most people never even seen before. Let's see how everybody else does. You ever been on that one? Huh? You ever been on that? Been on that. Secret. It's a good one. <laughs> yeah.
Are you one? back hit all the trails I wanted to got video of some of it these uh these Valor Alphas did pretty good what do you think Joey pretty they good did, I think they did pretty good they done pretty good there was a couple places on like some just some smooth slick rock where like a softer compound sticky tire I noticed would work better but other than that they worked really good and on top of that and that one's still good I mean, when you can put it on the trailer and like, that one's still good. Still good. Let's see. All right. You can put it on the trailer, riding some of the rough trails that we did today, and I ain't got a broke axle because one of the guys did have a broke axle. He cut his, short, his day short, which, why it's important. Think about that kind of stuff, depending on what kind of trails you're riding. Get some good axles, get some good stuff that ain't gonna break. Leave you having to cut your, cut your uh, trip short. Razor ran good. Yeah. Tires did good. Yeah, for the most part. For the most part? For the most part. Hit the good trails. Yeah, all the, all the fun ones. Gonna tell everybody what? Huh? What was I gonna say? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you always say at the end of a video? I don't know. Like, subscribe, comment what you think your favorite video was, and see you in the next one. Good job. <laughs>